Homeless uh, network. They got a homeless oppression network or something. Uh, is that Griffin? Might be Griffin. I don't think it's Griffin. Nine four nine one eight seven eight one four four zero and an unknown vehicle. It's right. Officer's name is right. We got Valdez. V A L D E Z. Valdez 7802. <laughs> Right, uh, can't see it quite. Seven two one eight, seven two one three, something like that. That's the officer on the left. The officer on the right, I haven't identified. With the camera? Because of the camera? How far is 15 feet? I'm already 15 feet. What about the camera guys? What about the other? The other cameras don't scare you guys? The First Amendment scare. You know that's against the law to interfere with my filming, right? I'm not interfering with your film. Okay. Then I'm good here. Back, back up out of this pole. So I can't get. He's got a boom mic, but I can't get close to where I can get audio. Okay. Well, I just realized that you're making an illegal order, but I'm gonna I'm gonna comply with your illegal order. Okay. But I could put you on citizen's arrest right now, jackass. So I'm back over here. They want me over here next to this fucking pole. They're gonna harass me. But the First Amendment is not a zone. The First Amendment is a right. It's a privilege that if we don't exercise, we lose. But it's okay to condition these officers. It's good. Terrorists need to know they're on report. Bullies and terrorists. I mean, these are homeless people. I've got one, two, three, four officers and a film crew, but they're not scared of that film crew. So right now, you're looking at liabilities, legal liabilities already. Don't give me the eyeball, shithead. They should make a recruitment video on how to how to be scared of a fucking camera. I'll be a coward. 
getting my nerves up. The rule is arm's length. They can check with DeWitt. Arm's length. Check with Chief Acevedo too. First responders are here for something, probably medical. So these guys are gonna rouse the homeless over here. They don't know me that well. Better call for backup. I wish I could get audio here, but these cowards won't let me anywhere close to them. I'm gonna need to get the uh, ID of the officer. They just broke the law. So they've got me over here, rather than being near a barricade, they got me over here where there's barely enough room for a car to get through, and then more cars over here. So they're putting me in harm's way because they're scared, and here comes another backup. They're gonna need 20 backups. Here comes second responders. Someone must have been hurt. The lady that works here said that there had been a fight and that these people are crazy. I think that they have uh, physical and mental challenges including maybe chemical dependency to cheap malt liquor that you can probably buy somewhere within walking distance here. Um, malt liquor is not a, a, a worthwhile alcohol. I think it should be banned. That won't make me popular in the homeless culture, but it's not a good alcohol. It's cheap sugars and rot gut. So look at how far I am. A good 30 feet away from the cowards because they can't fucking count. And yet they've got another film crew within, I don't know, the boom mic's within two feet. So um, I think they can all fuck off. They can take a can of fuck off and take that to jail with them. So these guys probably aren't going to answer questions. Still can't get his badge number, but that's alright. We'll ID him on the net. I don't need badge numbers if I don't want them. Here comes a corporal, it looks like, possibly a sergeant, someone with wings. Yeah, I'm talking to Superior Officer. Hey, so listen. How you doing, right? I know the law. I know what the rules are. You okay. don't have to try to explain any well, kind of thing. I okay. know that you're scared of my camera, but I'm not, not I'm them. I'm not scared at all of anything. Well, they're, why they're did, with me. What are they? They're a chemical. Like cops? The program cops? Yeah. Acevedo said he didn't want the program cops in this town. Well, he changed his mind. Okay, so they're with, what is it, HBO, Fox, what is that? I'm not sure what So listen, I, you know, I understand that you... I have a First Amendment right to course, film, and, and I can't be interfered with. That's well, a primary, that's a primary higher law above any state or local ordinances. Can I have an opportunity to speak to explain yeah. my side? Yeah. So, yes, you certainly have a First Amendment right to film the police. I don't have a problem with that. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of your camera. Cameras. Yes, sir. I'm not afraid of that at all. I don't I don't care about it. Okay? Um, we have a lot of cameras here as well, not just the cops crew that's with us. But I don't know you is a thing, okay? Well, you should know me. I've been in the news a lot. I don't. I'm assuming I, I like don't. This, so everyone should know well, me. Also, they don't know. There's 1,800 cops knows. here. Your I don't want, knows. Please stop interrupting me, sir. I've listened to you. I've been respectful to you. I, I, I just want to give you a couple of seats since you obviously have authority issues. Go ahead. I don't have authority issues, and you can come a little bit closer. I don't want to no, see. I'm good. Okay. Well, if you don't want to hear what I have to say, I'm listening. I just you don't keep want to be a Okay. As I was saying to you, I don't know who you are. 
I've never seen you in the news. I don't really watch the news all that often, okay? But being that I don't know you, I don't know what your intentions are. All that I know is that you're trying to report, but I don't know if there's anything else. Unfortunately, in this job, you can't take people for granted. You know, you have to be really unassuming. That's why I gave you a an order to step back towards this pole. And you can go from here all you want. I don't have a problem with that. But that's a little bit too close for me, okay? So I really do appreciate your cooperation. Um, if you have any questions once we're done, I'll come back over here and we'll talk some more. I just want to talk to the supervisor. Okay. There might be a supervisor yeah, over he's up there. there. Okay. All right. As soon as he's done, I'll have a program here and talk to you. Okay? All right. What's your name? You I'll don't have to tell me if you don't want. Okay. Take care. So, um, I don't know how well I handled that, but these cops make me nervous all acting stupid because they got cops to program with them and those cameras don't scare them because they know who they are. They don't know who they are. They don't know shit about the cameraman. The cameraman could be a felon. They're just movie people. Maybe people are full of felons, but they want to know something about the cameraman. Well, the Constitution really doesn't declare that they have to know shit about you. That's the call of the First Amendment. Doing all right, man? Yeah. Good. We're taking care of you. Looks like they're still arguing a little bit. I don't really give a crap what their uh, objectives are. I'm not here to make cops happy. They work for us. And the problem is people haven't been exercising their rights enough. Put this thing on pause for